Welcome back to Therapy Thursdays here on Louisiana Living. And today we are talking with Dr. Jessica Atkins about diaphragmatic breathing and how it can help you. And I think she's gonna actually teach us how to do it next, right? All yes. right. So in order to find out if you are taking diaphragmatic breaths or if you're taking chest breaths, I want you to do a little hands-on activity with me. So go ahead and take your hand and place it on your chest and then place your other hand on your stomach just below your navel. Go ahead and breathe as you normally do and notice what your hands are doing. I'm all chest. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Most people, as you might find, are chest breathers. Some of you may be breathing into your chest and your diaphragm and a few select of you might be breathing into your diaphragm but most of us do breathe into our chest. And so I want you to start to become more mindful of where your breath is going. Take a few more deep breaths, relax your stomach muscles, and try to breathe into your lower hand. Now this is a habit that you will need to practice implementing. Many people find that it can take weeks for them to really learn how to properly breathe into their bellies and not into their chests. So give yourself some patience and take time to work on this skill. You might also find that if you lie down on your back that you're better able to relax your stomach muscles. So you might try that. Now I'd like to give you a technique that you can use to decrease your stress, anxiety, or pain level with the diaphragmatic breathing. And that technique is called 2-1-4 breathing. So go ahead and place your hands back on your chest and your stomach. And we're going to inhale for two counts, hold our breaths for one count, and exhale for four counts. So I will speak as you do the action. Here we go. Inhale, inhale, hold. Exhale, 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 exhale. Now when you do this on your own, you're going to slow that down and you can even close your eyes as you learn to do the technique. And I would recommend doing this five minutes at a time, up to four times a day. And then you can build your endurance to doing it 10 minutes at a time, twice a day. So that would be practicing 20 minutes a day until you really learn how to properly breathe into your diaphragm. You can even teach your children this skill as you teach them to decrease their stress and anxiety and how to learn to better manage their own um, bodily stress. So I hope you find that 214 technique helpful and useful to decrease pain, anxiety, or stress, and even to help you sleep better at night if you're having trouble going to sleep. Enjoy practicing and good luck. I actually kind of felt like I had more energy whenever I was breathing. You definitely do. Mm -hmm. So you guys give it a try. And you guys come back next week and see us here at, uh, on Louisiana Living. We'll be talking about another topic. Uh, I believe we're going to have Dr. Rachel again. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys come back and we'll see you next week.